Uh, Gun Rita, last year uh, must be a really uh, special season for you. It was the time when you came back to the winning to the winning zone. You uh, became European champion. Can you describe the <coughs> feelings you had when you when you have been on the podium? Yeah, I wish I could uh, share those moments when you really win big big races when you've been working hard for a long, long time, especially with the one that. You also have around you that has been working hard for a long time, but it was some of the biggest moments in my career as a mountain biker for sure. Um, it was a comeback that a lot of people didn't believe in that it could be possible. Uh, and I think that the time I needed to get up on that level was, was a long way to go. It was a lot of hard work, but it is something that gives you a lot of motivation to continue. Uh, but it's also something that really for at least me and Kenneth that live in this performance uh, bubble every day um, it gives us the proof that yes we are working right, correct and if we really work hard we can manage to reach the goals we put up as long as we, we work like we do. So it was a special day for sure and especially with the little boy with me on the podium. Well, we're, we're talking about the comeback, but on the other hand, we heard some rumors that you were thinking of ending your career. What, what was that? Uh, I don't know, maybe it was the guys that created those rumors? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, uh, some days, when, especially last winter, we were a lot sick, and sometimes you don't really, I'm not 100% convinced that my body can handle the, the work that is necessary to do on a top level in our sport. So sometimes I was not always convinced that it was possible. Um, but then it's also very important to have the people around you that see the, the big picture, that is not only about today. Most people, whatever you're doing, uh, you can have a bad day. So uh, then it's really good to have the, the good, hardworking people around you like we have also in the team here. So. so we have you a few more years here. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking about the Olympics, um, you are really experienced in Olympic races. Uh, what's the situation right now? Are you already selected? No, we are not selected. Uh, at the moment, it looks like we have two places for Norway for the women. And um, I believe I have to perform in the top 10 or something like that. That's the rules. but. If it goes like normal season, similar like last year, both for me and Lena Buberg, it will be me and her going to London. So I don't think I'm the one that is stressing a lot around performing in the first month this season. We work uh, and follow the program we put up and we look at it as yes, we are going to London, but we are not officially elected by the Olympic Federation yet. And we know you already have Olympic goals. What kind of Olympic perspective do you go to, to London? Of course, it's one of the biggest days for 2012, for sure, but we don't work as it's only day for 2012, because a lot can happen. You all know that if you have been out there riding your mountain bike, whatever kind of race you do, a lot can happen within just the first minute of a race. So, for me, Having the motivation I have going into a new season, I see a lot of big goals, but of course London is really one of the biggest ones. To be able to fight for a, for a medal in London and even be good enough to be able to fight for a goal, yeah, that will be the biggest thing for the season. But it's a long time since I was wearing the white jersey and I think we already got a little bit pressure for the, 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 the staff because we have a white world champion car multivan outside so i think it's just telling us that you have to work harder we want that rainbow jersey back so guys feel the pressure <laughs> talking a little bit about your experience you now have a long period in mountain biking you have seen a lot of things going on how do you see is the mountain bike sports, especially in women racing, how does it have changed in the last 10 years? Uh, probably I shouldn't say my, my 
<laughs> my opinion about that because I think that the girls that is fighting top three in a World Cup now, like last year, I don't think they are going much faster than they did back to Olympic 2004, World Cup races 2005 and six, was six when I had my top pick. But for sure there are so many more girls that can be up there and be able to fight for winning World Cup races and also medal in the championship. So in that way it changed a lot. There, is more, there are more people in the top now. Yeah, you, you, you can go back some years and there were five, six, seven girls fighting for the top five, but it was just a change of position where you ended up. Now you can have a different one top five for every World Cup, more or less. Renata, thanks a lot. Any urgent questions for her? Else we have plenty of time afterwards. Last night you got to know how old I am, and now you can ask how heavy I am, and <laughs> personal. 29 yesterday, that's not bad. <laughs> you still look good. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot, Sunrita. Jose, it's up to you.